So, Chelsea, I would say the role is yours. <laughs> what? Really? Oh my gosh. This has always been my dream. Thank you. This uh... is ridiculous. You're gonna choose someone who looks like her over someone who looks like me? Where is Darman? I wanna speak with him immediately. Oh, I'm actually right here. Hi, is this where the audition is for the new Darman Studio film? <laughs> yeah, but the audition for extras is tomorrow. Oh, actually, I'm auditioning for the main female role. Wait, you want to be the female lead in this film? <laughs> no offense, but you have to have a certain look to get that part. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, you have to be attractive. They're never going to cast someone who looks like, well, you. Well, in Darman's videos, he always says it's not about what's on the outside that matters. It's what's on the inside. And I'm sure he'll see that I'm a really good person. <laughs> That is the dumbest thing that I have ever heard. One, Darman would never be here. And two, you're wasting your time competing against someone who looks like me. Yeah. Maybe you're right. But I'm here anyway. I might as well try. Do you mind if I sit there? That chair's a little small and you're pretty big. So maybe you should just stand. I know I'm a little on the bigger side. <laughs> a little. I know I'm on the bigger side, but I'm a really good actress. It's not about being a good actress. It's about how you look. <laughs> Did you even do your makeup today? <laughs> I was so busy studying my lines, I didn't have the time. <laughs> Clearly you don't have your priorities straight. How you look is way more important. Hi, the casting's about to start. Come inside. All right, we are casting for the new main female lead. So which one of you is Liz? Hi, that's me. Great, take it from the top of scene two. Sure, <clears throat> sure. <clears throat> so you see, I'm not really your mother. I found you. I'm sorry, could you not read from the script? Uh, <laughs> well, I didn't actually memorize the lines. <laughs> Really? Why wouldn't you memorize them? Well, I spent extra time this morning working on my makeup. I thought you guys might have like a specific look you were going for. <laughs> okay. Well, Chelsea, do you have your lines memorized? Yes, I do. Great. Take it from the top of scene two. You're sure. <clears throat> you see, I'm not actually your mother. I just found you when you were a little girl. But I knew from the moment I laid eyes on you, you would always be my child. Wow. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. You got me all teary-eyed and you only did two lines. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've been trying really hard to be a successful actress, but it hasn't always been easy because of, you know, my size. What's wrong with your size? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Look how big she is. That is the last thing we care about at Darman Studios. What's important to us is that you're a good person and a good actress. So, Chelsea, I would say the role is yours. <laughs> what? Really? Oh my gosh. 
This has always been my dream. Thank you. This uh, is ridiculous. You're gonna choose someone who looks like her over someone who looks like me? Where is Darman? I wanna speak with him immediately. Oh, I'm actually right here. Oh, hi. I was just telling your casting agent that I think you should choose me for the role. Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't think you're gonna be a fit. You see, to me, it's not what's on the outside that matters, but what's on the inside. And Chelsea, you seem like an amazing person. It'd be an honor to work with you. <sighs> Thank you. I almost thought I lost the role. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means to me. You're welcome. I know you're gonna do amazing. Good luck on everything. Chelsea, come sit down. Let's talk about your role. Oh, yeah. Here, where are the models? You said the models were gonna be here already. They are here, sir. These are our models. This is Dana, Priscilla, and Vera. You're joking, right? We are a modeling agency, not a freak show. I asked for models, not for a bunch of randos from off the street. I know they're not your typical models, but being different is what makes them so beautiful. No, no, Live Glam is one of our most important clients and I cannot present these models to them. I mean, look, look at this one. Look, her hair is like a rat's nest. And, and this one, you might as well have hired an elephant. And, and this one, I, I don't even know what to say about this one. There, there is nothing beautiful about being different. But, but sir. No, but, but nothing. If Live Glam does not like these models, I am finished. You know what? You clearly do not know anything about beauty. You are fired. You're all fired. I'm gonna get a bunch of new models. Oh, okay. You two are what I call models. You look great. Oh, perfect timing. Come in, you must be the uh, rep from Live Glam. Yes. Hello. Well, let me introduce you to our two models. I think they're gonna be perfect for your upcoming campaign. Um, would you mind giving us a moment? So, what do you think? They look great. But we were hoping for models that looked a little bit more different. Dif what, what do you mean? I mean, they're, they're, they're tall and they're thin. They're, they're the perfect definition of beauty. What, what else could you want? You know what? I'm sorry, but I don't think this is going to work out. Thank you for your time. No, 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 wait, wait. I, I, I can find you different models. <sighs> I am so sorry about all of that. Hey, are you ladies all right? Yeah, it's just, I chose these models to be a part of the beauty campaign for Live Glam, but we all just got fired. This guy said that we weren't beautiful just because we look different. What? I think you ladies are all so beautiful. In fact, you ladies have the exact look I'm going for. We do? But for what? My name's Laura, and I'm actually the creative director of Live Glam. And I'd love it if you were the face of our new beauty campaign. Oh my god, really? Hey, look, you uh, found the girls that I've hired for your campaign. But you just fired all of us. That was a joke. You didn't fall for that, did you? <laughs> so what do you think? I think they're perfect. You see, being different is what makes them beautiful. That's why I hired all of them to be the face of our new beauty campaign. And that's why I'm firing you. So, are you ladies interested? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> and young lady, you seem to have an understanding of what true beauty is. I'd like to hire you as well. Wow. I would love that. <laughs> All right, come on, I'll give you a ride to the studio. We got a lot to talk about. Okay. 
Kimberly? Oh my God, look at you. Well, I barely recognize you. you. You lost so much weight over the summer. Thanks, Miss Hope. Did you notice anything else? You got braces. I even got a new Minecraft backpack. That is really cool. So tell me, Kimberly, what inspired you to make all of these changes? It's actually Kimmy now. I don't know. A lot of kids made fun of me last year, so I decided to change all these things about myself. Yes, one second. Um, I'm glad that you decided to make all of these changes, honey, but just be sure that you're doing them because they make you happy and not anyone else, okay? All right, everyone, take out your books. I'll be right back. Kimberly, you've lost a lot of weight. Thanks. It's actually Kimmy now, you know, since I'm no longer Kimber the Timber. <laughs> since I lost all the weight and all. You look good, but did you lose too much weight? Yeah. Are you sure you're not sick? <laughs> no. I worked out and dieted all summer. That way no one else will make fun of me anymore. Skinny Kimmy. That should be your new nickname. <laughs> I like that. Hey guys, Kimber the Timber's new name this year is Skinny Kimmy. <laughs> Skinny Kimmy, skinny Kimmy, skinny Kimmy, skinny Kimmy, skinny Kimmy, skinny Kimmy. Good back. Is that a Minecraft backpack? Yeah, you like it? I know what you're thinking. Way cooler than my Lego backpack from last year, right? I don't know what I was thinking. Um, no one cares about Minecraft anymore. Yeah, that's so last year. People only care about Pokemon. Pokemon? I thought that stopped being cool like two years ago. <laughs> it's back. And way cooler than Minecraft. I can't believe you didn't know. Do you live under a rock or something? <laughs> Seriously, no one wears that anymore. Yeah, that's so embarrassing. Hey, uh, do you mind if I sit with you girls? Uh, sure. I guess. Thanks. Something looks different about you. Oh yeah, I lost a lot of weight. Uh, no, that's not it. It's something else. Uh... Oh, you got braces! Oh yeah. A lot of kids made fun of me last year because of my teeth, so I decided to get them. Do you like them? Yeah, if you want to look like a brace face. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Or uh, a metal mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> or zipper lips. <laughs> oh, a uh, tin grin. <laughs> <laughs> Train drops. <laughs> Cheese grater. <laughs> Kimmy? Kimmy, what's wrong? Honey, please tell me what's wrong. Everyone's making fun of me and I just don't understand. They did the same thing to me last year. Sweetheart, you know you can talk to me, right? I just don't know what to change about myself anymore. You see, last year, everyone at school made fun of me. They laughed at me for the kind of backpack I had or for how bad my teeth were or for how much I weighed. I remember going home and crying so hard after the last day of school. And that's when I decided I would change everything about myself that people didn't like. So I saved up my money all summer to buy myself a new backpack. 
I even convinced my mom to take me to the dentist so I could get braces. And I even started eating healthier. So you see, I tried to change everything about myself. I even tried to change my name, but people still made fun of me. <laughs> oh, sweet child. You didn't need to change any of those things. You were perfect as you were, and you are perfect now. So then why do people always criticize me? Sadly, that's just how some people are in the world. If you are overweight, they'll say that you eat too much. If you lose weight, they'll say you look sick. If you dress nice, they'll say you show off. And if you dress simple, they'll say you're poor. Unfortunately, no matter what you do, people will always find a reason to criticize you. Okay. So what do I do? Well, you do what makes you happy. Let me ask you a question. Do you like your backpack? Well, yeah. And do you like your braces? Yeah. <laughs> and do you like eating healthy? Well, then that is all that matters. You do what makes you happy for yourself and for no one else. Wow, I never thought of it like that. Thank you so much, Miss Hope. <laughs> Anytime, sweetheart. Look at Kimmy's backpack. I can't believe she's wearing Minecraft. I already told you, no one wears Minecraft. What a loser. <laughs> That's not true. I love Minecraft, and I think it's really cool. Plus, I hear no one wears Pokemon anymore. What? Really? <laughs> yeah, that's so last year. I told you no one wears Pokemon. No, you didn't. You said it was cool. <laughs> wow, that was really cool. Yeah, I love how you stood up for yourself, Kimmy. Want to have lunch with us today? Sure, but call me Kimberly. I like my own name better. All right, class. Okay, just a little more attitude. One more time, ladies. Here we go. You messed me up. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's just your dancing was so good. What are you even doing here anyway? Did you get lost looking for the buffet? <laughs> uh, no, I'm actually here to try out. Hey girls, thanks for coming out. Hi, I'm Jada. Are you trying out for the dance team too? Oh, I know who you are. I've been following you for years. To be a part of the Fab Four, that would be a dream. <laughs> well, we're the Fab Three right now since we lost a dancer. That's why we're here looking for a fourth. Come on in. All right, ladies, line up. We're going to start off with some basic dance moves. Hi, I'm Jackie. Evan. Do you know when they're going to choose someone by? Next month, I think. I really hope it's me, because I just... <laughs> Maybe they choose you if this was an eating contest. <laughs> Otherwise, there's no way. That's not very nice. Just being honest. Look, there's just a certain kind of body you have to have when you're a dancer, and you don't have it. Okay, here we go. Does everyone know how to do a body roll? Of course. That's really good. 
I can tell you know how to dance. That's perfect. Oh, do you want to take off your jacket? Um, sure. Wow, looks like none of us stand a chance at being in the Fab Four anymore. <laughs> what do you mean? No one's got better roles than her. <laughs> Stop, that wasn't nice. Don't listen to her. Maybe she's right. Maybe I'm just not meant to be a dancer. Hey, you can be anything you want in life, just as long as you work hard and you believe in yourself. Remember that. Looking good. Keep it up. This is what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. I just need a minute. Everyone must be really tired. Actually, I'm just getting warmed up. Can we just acknowledge the obvious here? She's not fit to be a dancer. Let's go ahead and take a tent anyway. There's snacks and water on the table. Oh, I love these. Ooh, this looks good. Oh. I didn't know if there would be any food left after seeing you here. So, what got you into dance anyway? Oh, well, ever since I was a little girl, my dad would always turn on the radio and I'd just find myself tapping my feet to the beat just imagining myself up on stage performing. I just love to dance. Well, you certainly love to eat. Why do you keep picking on me? Just leave me alone. Maybe if you ate bananas instead of danishes, you wouldn't weigh 300 pounds and you'd actually be able to dance. Think fast. <laughs> All right, now that we all know the moves, let's see some solos. You seem like you have it down. Go ahead and start. Sure. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. <laughs> you girls got your competition cut out for you today. Who wants to go next? Hey. Jackie, right? Great way to take initiative. Come on up. Um, I think I need some more time to practice first. That's all right. Just try your best. <laughs> Shoot. Don't worry about it. That's a hard move. See? She's not fit to be a dancer. Stop making her feel bad. We all start somewhere. Well, maybe she should start with losing 50 pounds. Look, I'm all for believing in your dreams, but let's be realistic. Why don't you try competing in something else? Like a hot dog eating contest. I'm sure you do great in that. Hey, wait. Can you guys take over? Okay, I'll sure. be right back. Hey, wait up. Are you okay? I'm so sorry, this was a bad idea. I shouldn't have come. I thought you said dancing was your dream. It is, well, was, but I'm just not fit for it. Don't just give up because someone's making you feel bad. Do you know how many people made fun of me when I first wanted to be a dancer? But for what? You're not overweight. You think I always looked like this? <laughs> not even close. You see? When I was younger, I was, let's just say, bigger than everyone else. But I still dreamed of becoming a dancer. Every time I showed up to practice, people laughed at me. They made fun of me and told me that I wasn't cut out for dancing. But the important part is, I never let that stop me. I kept working hard and believing in myself no matter what. 
I was determined to become the best dancer I could be. And guess what? Over time, my dream came true. I became one of the best dancers out there. So you see, I used to be heavier too, but I never let that stop me from becoming a dancer. Because you can be anything you want in life, as long as you work hard and you believe in yourself. I can't believe it. You used to be like me, and you still became such a great dancer. Wow. Thank you, Jada. If I can do it, so can you. You still have a month before we choose our fourth. So just keep practicing. I'm sure you'll do great. With newfound inspiration, Jackie commits to working hard and believing in herself again. Every day, she's always the first one to arrive before everyone gets there and the very last one to leave after everyone's already gone. Whenever she falls and feels like giving up, She remembers Jada's words. And that's what keeps her working hard and believing in herself. Over time, Jackie starts to get better and better. She keeps practicing day after day. And eventually, she ends up becoming a really good dancer. And then came the day of the decision. No, I really messed up. Can I please try again? Unfortunately, everyone only gets one shot. I'm sorry. Would you like to go next? Yep, let's do it. Oops. Don't worry about it. Next. No, you don't understand. I never mess up. I just didn't get much sleep because I went out last night. Can I go again? Maybe you should have been practicing instead. I'm sorry, but you only get one shot. Jackie, would you like to go next? Uh, sure. <sighs> Take my advice, quit while you're ahead. That way you don't embarrass yourself, fatty. Ready? Thanks, I worked really, really hard. She to just got lucky. Let me go again and watch. I'm way better than her. Actually, that won't be necessary. You see, we've already made our decision. Will everyone join me in congratulating the newest member of the Fab Four? Jackie. I am going to be a part of the Fab Four. For, oh my god, I can't believe this. You don't even know how happy you have got to be kidding me. I can't believe you are gonna choose her over me! Ugh, this is ridiculous! Well, we just did. Jackie, let's go get your uniform ordered and go over the schedule. Take my advice. You can be anything you want to in life as long as you work hard and believe in yourself. Remember that. All we need is a three-pointer. We make this shot, we're going to game seven in the championship. Yes! On my team, gay cannot play. I really thought you'd go to college. Do you think you'll get a scholarship? Once people find out about you, that would be my dream. No one's going to want you, man.